Okay, we're going to solve and graph a couple of linear inequalities on the same chart here, um, dealing with them as a system of linear inequalities. So let's take a look at the first one here. What we're going to do um, first is solve these for the lines as if they were uh, equals to, as if they were equations. So let's take this first one, uh, subtract 2x from both sides to start with gives us 3y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 18 and then divide both sides by 3 get y is less than or equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 6 and then we'll do the other one and we'll get negative 4y is less than or equal to negative x plus 12 and then we need to divide both sides by 4 or negative 4 I mean so we're gonna have to switch our sign so we'll get y is greater than or equal to 4 1 fourth x sorry 1 fourth x minus 3 or that could be written as y is greater than or equal to x over 4 minus 3 if you prefer Okay, then if we graph this first one, let's graph it using intercepts. So if we do our x, y graph here, if x is 0, y is 6. If y is 0, then we get 0, negative 2 thirds plus 6. Subtract 6 from both sides, and we get negative 6 equals negative 2 thirds x. Divide both sides by negative two-thirds means we need to invert and multiply. So we'd get 6 times 3 is 18 divided by 2 is 9. So we get 9 equals x. So we'd have a point at x is 9, y is 0. And then for the other one, we get if, uh, if x is 0, we get 0 divided by 4. So when x is 0, we get 0 minus 3 is negative 3 and when y is 0 we get 0 is greater than or equal to x over 4 minus 3 so we add 3 to both sides we get 3 greater than or equal to x over 4 multiply we'll both sides by 4 and we get 12 greater than or equal to x so 12 okay so this line here would have a point at x is 0, y is 6, and at x is 9, y is 0. And this line would have a point at x is 0, y is negative 3, and x is 12, y is 0. So if we graph those two lines, they look like this. Now for our first one, now that we know where the line is, if we take a look at our first one, we can see that it tells us that y is less than or equal to this line. So y could be anything on this line because of the equal to, or it could be anything less. So at any one of these points, y could be what's there, or it could be anything below that. So this orange line really is an orange shaded region that goes below it a little like this at every point. Then the green one, y is greater than or equal to x over 4 so it's greater than or equal to our line so at any one of these places along here y could be the point that's given or it could be anything bigger so this one goes up like this at all of those points so then the where the two graphs intersect where the system of equations works is all the places where both lines or both shaded areas intersect. So this sort of triangle area in here where we have both colors represents the graphed section for both equations and that's the system of equations, the system of inequalities are uh, rather right here inside this triangle. So anything inside this triangle solves both inequalities at the same time. 